Hello and welcome my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of November the 4th to the 10th. All right, let's jump right into this. You know that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, answers to any personal questions on any topics, click that button at the top of my video and it'll take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. In fact, the calendar is there, the PayPal button's there. You can actually book your own appointment online. Okay, let's see what we've got. Jumping right in with your download message, you've been given the card Truth Revealed. So you're going to have that aha moment, that epiphany, the third eye opens, all the clarity is going to be brought forward, you're not going to be confused about a situation anymore, you're going to see the whole story, but you know, and, and the, the truth and nothing but the truth coming forward. This is the card that says that you're going to have a clear sight line now, and you're going to know a, a situation in the complete, complete truth, okay, so only you know what that means, only you know what the topic is, but the truth is going to be revealed. It could happen at work, it could happen in your personal life, it could happen in a relationship, anything. Now, coming in in the beginning of the week, and we've got our beautiful dog again, the dog spirit, and it says, be loyal to what you love. But you're also going to find, you're going to know who the people are around you in your close circle of friends who are truly loyal to you. Okay, you're going to see the truth there, who is and who isn't. Um, but I do think that, you know, you need to be loyal to what it is you like to do. What do you truly want to do? Are you settling? Are you, are you playing it small? Are you, you know, are you being the wallflower? Are you standing in the shadows? This is your time to shine and get out there and show your authenticity and your individuality and all those beautiful talents that you possess this week. So don't be afraid. Be loyal to yourself first and foremost and say, hey, I'm going to do what I need to do for me. But you're also going to find you're going to have the support. Not that you need the approval, but you're going to have the support and the, and the, the company of others that, that want to revel in this new journey you're taking, want to commend you, want to be part of it. So this is great. Something's going to end here with the death card. This is transformation, going through a new beginning, metamorphosis. You know, you're becoming someone else or you're, you, you're realizing that you want to move forward and do something different and new. And we can always reinvent ourselves, no matter what stage or age we are in our life. And this is telling me that you're leaving something behind and you realize that you have to do this for the greater good for you. And, you know, you're moving forward and you're, you're asking spirit to, to guide you in the direction you need to go. And there will be a new beginning. There will be new doors of opportunity starting to present themselves to you. Okay, so stay in the saddle. Don't be afraid. Stay in the game. Keep moving forward. This is closing the past behind you or situations or the completion of projects and things like that. And you're moving forward now. It can be the end of friendships, relationships, uh, you know, jobs, uh, anything. You can even be re relocating, they're telling me, and moving on to a new area, like a new area of work or a new area to live. Coming in in your focus part of the reading, you've got the wishing well. So I love this card. So it's all about you realizing that your dreams can come true. Okay, so this is a new beginning and it activates that field of new possibilities, right? So take action by dropping that coin into the wishing well and then trust spirit because I really think you're going to be amazed. So, you know, step back, breathe and take your attention away from what you want. Instead, ask, what do I need? Okay, we all have wants, but what do I really need? I need to be loyal to myself and go after that, right? So have faith. Um, this is about never forgetting that life is filled with many beautiful choices. So don't be afraid to dig deep. Don't be afraid to take yourself to that place that you in your mind and do some reflective work about thinking about, well, you know, I always wanted to do this or I always wanted to step forward and speak to this person. Now is a chance, okay? Go and do it. Don't be afraid. Make that wish. Be open to, you know, to throwing that coin in the well. Okay? Now, coming in with that, look what you've got. Reconnecting with somebody who's been distanced from you or lives at a distance from you or you haven't spoken to or seen in a long time. So, you could be just being nostalgic. 
and you may be just reminiscing about your past memories uh, of people and situations you were involved in and wondering about them. But sometimes this can actually be a connection. Somebody you may have reconnected with with social media the way it is. We often, you know, bump into people out there that we go, wow. I almost forgot about you and we had such great times together this can also be um, reconciliation okay you could be reconnecting with someone you were in a great and in, in, in a, a relationship with beautiful some of you could be entertaining or playing with children or being surrounded by children uh, this is a time when we do that we need to let our own inner child out and that means have some fun okay don't take things lightly don't get up in your head even if you reconnect with somebody it could be closure okay maybe you guys are going to say yeah we were immature then we didn't know what we were doing and saying and now we're all grown and, and we can laugh about those times Okay, coming in in your challenge part of your reading, you've got the card good luck. So I don't know what the challenge here is because it comes in with the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe it's believing in yourself, realizing you're worthy of all of this. And that could be your inner challenge, all right? Not thinking, yeah, yeah, it sounds too good to be true. You need to step out of your way and realize that you can have what you want. Your fortune is improving and you'll get a lucky break soon. So collect those nuggets of wisdom and that you will need because you're going to need them in the future. So you're, I, I really think this is a new beginning for you. You're going through a change. You can dream big here. You see the truth in a situation now and now you can see that you can move forward in a prosperous and successful way. You're going to see those rewards coming in big time. Because the Ten of Pentacles is that card that says, whoa, look at the abundance you're being showered down upon. Look at the universe, what the universe is giving you. Remember, the universe isn't happening to us. The universe is reacting to us. So what you focus on, right, what you put your, you, you invest your time into and you truly believe you're worthy of receiving, the universe steps in and says, bam. You've got it. You can do this. Happiness and, and security and financial stability. This is a card that says relationships are good. You might be reconnecting with someone where you can, you're amicable again and you get along again. You could be, you know, you could be seeing the harvest coming in of your hard work and effort. Whatever you've stepped out there to approach, you're going to see it's coming back to you tenfold. Coming in in your messages from spirit and the and, and and the powers that be, you've got the card adventure. So I love that. It's a new beginning. It's going after things that you want to do. Um, it's blessings coming into you, and, and it's a, and something exciting is around the corner now, and you're entering a new area filled with expansive energy. So you need to look at your world in a new and different way. That's what the death card's saying. This is transformation, right? This metamorphosis, changing things. Something that you thought was, you know, blah, or someone who you may have overlooked is going to open a door to new opportunities and it's bigger and bolder way of living your life now. So um, it appears this card comes when you're ready to remove the blinders and take action so that life doesn't become stagnant, okay, and boring. It signifies incredible spiritual attunement and, and beautiful spiritual voyage as well. And look what shows up here. We see this angel below that. Okay, temperance. You're being, you're given the message that you need to stop and smell the roses. Take your time. Realize you're worthy of all this abundance coming into you. You know, realizing that the truth is revealed and now you're able to go after those goals, those inspirations, the passion that's within you. Temperance says do things in moderation. Don't rush. Okay, this is a card of balance. Taking yourself to center. Okay, thinking about this situation and then acting on it when you're ready. Coming in at the end of the week, which could be your future energy, you've got round and round. Now, the round and round card seems to be, you know, um, you may feel as though you're on that merry-go-round, um, you know, uh, you know, it's, an, it's cycles that are challenging you, you need to break free of, um, you know, it's a reminder that all, although it may appear that you've gone backwards sometimes, the truth is that you're standing at a higher level. Okay, you're looking down into your circumstances now. You're going to learn something, do something better and break that cycle and set up the, you know, a, a, that set you up in the past. 
okay it's like you're having a bird's eye view of your you know of what you've done and now you're taking that wisdom and you're moving forward so you know if you are in a scenario that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life it's because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before it's a perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives you you have and and the and attract those opportunities and the people that you need to attract to you don't sabotage yourself believe in yourself this is about you going forward you've been around okay you've been around you know the sun a few times to know that you can move forward and the universe says here it is clear and concise okay you've got all the resources with the magician dream big you can make that magic happen it comes to you in the form of many different uh you know advantages time effort support maybe even some additional money you didn't know you had someone could be stepping forward saying hey you know i want to get on this this wagon with you and and you know we together we can work on something there you know this is a card of success okay wave your wand dream big you can create what it is you want now beautiful now let's see what we have here for additional energy and what you need to see know and expect throughout this reading spirit what do they need to see know and expect right now i'm gonna do it this way sorry okay okay my beautiful beautiful aquarius so coming in with that death card and transformation and being loyal to what it is you want to do you, you you you've got the five of wands the five of wands says you might be wanting to uh feel the energy to compete uh to show the powers that be what you have you know healthy competition is good but don't allow it to make you feel that you're being pushed and pressured and backed up against the wall to come out fighting and holding your end of the deal up and the and defending your corner um you know you're going to walk away from struggling uh, situations in the past because you want to move forward there you know you can show the powers that be who you are and what you're made of but don't allow other people's drama to seep into you okay everybody wants to you know push everybody's buttons this time it's right now okay so coming in next with the the six of cups you've got the ten of swords so there might have been a situation uh, with somebody where you felt that you'd been betrayed you've been let down you held back you couldn't go forward you felt trapped uh, maybe they're stepping forward to make amends here they could be for some of you but this is a card that says you know what you're on your feet you you're you're going to be able to create brand new dreams now and go after what you want whatever this situation was whether it was a job it was a relationship whatever it was that kept you in this position you're on your feet now you're going after what it is you want you've learned to deal with that and the universe says hey get up you've got all this beautiful prosperity coming into you coming in with that beautiful ten of pentacles is that new card of opportunity aces are the beginnings of all new things and this particular ace is a beautiful prosperous ace it could be about you heading out into a new job a new career opening your own business realizing that you know you you might be signing a new document it could be a business contract or something but it's also focusing on your results now it's good luck and hope for the future you really are feeling blessed right here so it could be anything like that it, you know you could be opening uh, you know uh, changing your careers or even going to open your own business and being open to meeting new people and new acquaintances and old friends who can introduce you to helpful people to provide the things that you need so that you can move forward successfully i love that ace of pentacles and it also means a return to healthier life okay better health if you've been dealing and struggling with something here recovering and healing coming in with the temperance card and the messages from spirit you've got the nine of wands so the nine of wands is that card that says don't give up okay keep moving forward you have this ability to go after what you want and stand in that power he doesn't back down okay this is a card where you know he's going forward he isn't going to quit he's not going to pack it in okay so you're getting prepared and you could be you could be recovering again sometimes this card is indicative of recovering from an illness uh, or physical and emotional strength and being persistent moving forward you've created you know wonderful amazing things my beautiful aquarius so you know there are relationships you treasure and, and accomplishments that you're proud of as well as the place you call home it's a natural to want to protect them okay so this could be you protecting yourself as well all right you can also tap into archangel michael for protection and know that you're completely safe at this time but don't give up okay this is a card that says hey don't roll over when times get tough keep moving forward you've got all this strength look at they talk about archangel michael and look at that angel behind you there 
Okay, this is a new adventure you're on. Coming in with the final card, your outcome energy. What have you got that you need to see? What have you got that you need to see? Okay. With that beautiful magician, success. You've got the Hierophant. So um, there could be, you could be dealing with higher education. You could be taking scholastic exams. You could be thinking, I'm going to educate myself here so that I've got everything I need on my resume to promote myself, to get out there. But you're tapping into your own spirituality as well. Some of you may be heading into maybe some energy or, or spiritual healing modalities. You could be connecting with spiritual groups as well. Okay, so um, it's almost like a marriage of... Um, how can I put it? A marriage that uh, was meant to be, whether it's in friendships, business, or personal issues. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius, this is your general reading for this week, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you, and I'll see you soon, my beautiful Aquarius.